Hello everyone. Today we are honoring a viewer request, which thank you to this viewer who requested that we can compare and contrast these decks. Um, and many of you have said, oh my God, yes, that you guys wanted to hear it, wanted to see this video as well. So very exciting um, to be able to break these decks down with you guys. So today we're going to be comparing and contrasting the Chicoli Oracle with the Nicoletta Chicoli Tarot. Um, <clears throat> obviously, uh, same artist for both decks. Um, let's talk about some of the things that you're going to find um, that translate into working with both of the decks. The artwork is very provoking and it's in both decks, you can absolutely use both decks for shadow work. So they're very intense decks. They're not light and sweet decks. Um, <laughs> even though at first glance, the art artwork may seem um, sweet, it's actually quite sinister, yeah, typically when you're working with the two decks. So both decks do shadow work beautifully. And the little white book in the Chicoli Tarot case slash small guidebook in the uh, Chicoli Oracle case, they, they, um, it's interesting because you do want to give a once over to both of these for sure. There's some prompts in the small meanings for each card that are definitely going to give you some insight and allow you to kind of um, shift perspective look at uh, a traditional card meaning in the in the Chicoli Tarot case from a new perspective. Again, you're getting a fresh some fresh insight. So they're definitely worth reading. If it comes down to like which one do you want to read, the Chicoli Oracle has a little bit more meat to it in my opinion in so far as um how it will translate to interpreting the cards in a reading. Okay? So this is definitely one that you want to give a read to, but I would encourage you to re give a once over to the card meanings for each of these. Because again, like I said, they're going to give you a perspective shift and um, they're not traditional Rider Waite Smith type meanings at all in either of these cases, even though the Oracle deck is a separate entity unto itself. The artwork is definitely Chicoli style in both. And like I said, there's a sinister underlayer to the pretty sweet initial glance at the artwork. Both work well for shadow work. Of the two, in my opinion, Chicoli Tarot is a little more intense in regards to shadow work and definitely like 100% shadow work focused. It's a tarot deck that I don't really use unless I'm doing shadow work or I'm really getting into the nitty gritty for a client or myself into a certain situation at hand. So it's not, um, Neither of the decks are for the faint of heart. Chicoli Oracle is more user-friendly. So if you're a little scared, uncomfortable, unsure of Chicoli's artwork, and you've heard from a lot of us that it's this incredible deck, but you're worried that it's gonna be a little too confronting, I would say start with the Chicoli Oracle. Um, the Chicoli Oracle also clarifies a tarot deck beautifully in a general reading. So I would say the Chicoli Oracle can go more of a crossover focus for you. Um, if you are wanting a deck that you can use, not just for shadow work, but also as a clarifier, also in regards to traditional divinatory readings, then I think you'll find Chicoli Oracle may be a direction that you want to go in. <clears throat> um, also in both decks, because they're Scarabio decks, there's multiple languages in these decks. So it looks like you're getting a fair amount of information, but you've got to remember only a quarter or an eighth of this is going to be in your chosen language. Sip of tea. <laughs> We're doing a lot of talking today. I'm recording this on Wednesday the 2nd, which is also Imolk. So Imolk blessings to all of you. For those of you who observe. So let's get into the decks themselves. So here's the Chicoli Oracle. And here is the Chicoli Tarot. The Chicoli Tarot is the traditional Scarabio tarot deck size. So just be aware of that. They're very slim uh, width-wise and then lengthwise is a traditional tarot deck uh, or a typical tarot deck size. 
Um, backings are reminiscent of each other, so they do pair nicely um, if you have them on an altar or a sacred space together for sure. So if that's something that's you know that you're considering as you're trying to decide whether you get both or not, or you only purchase one, and if so, which one, they definitely dovetail together nicely on a on an altar, but they're still separate entities, and you can see that. Can you use these two decks together? Absolutely. Um, trigger warning. You know, that's going to be an intense experience. I'm not going to lie to you here. <laughs> in my opinion, the Chicoli Tarot is balls to the wall intense. Chicoli Oracle, like I said, is a little bit more user friendly. And you can get some more, maybe lighter meanings out of the Chicoli Oracle for sure. Let's talk about the artwork for a second. The Chicoli Tarot, for the most part, there's more going on in the imagery than in the Chicoli Oracle, and you have a much smaller, let me just find an example of this for you guys, you have a much smaller card space. So this can feel a little bit claustrophobic sometimes. I think that that's intentional when it comes to shadow work, and so therefore is a, a plus in this situation. Because again, you're not going to be, most of us aren't working with Chicoli Tarot all the time, okay? We, we, we're giving ourselves a break, right? So Quick disclaimer, shadow work isn't something we do all the time. It's something we do to understand the wounded aspects of ourselves and to integrate them when we're at a place in our path where we feel grounded and ready to enter into that, okay? So or we're ready to examine something and we feel supported in that examination at this point in time, right? Like immediately after you get triggered by something and you have an, you know, maybe you have an anxiety attack or you have a meltdown or you just act in a way that, you know, you're not proud of may not be the exact moment to jump into tarot work. Okay. So I'm going to just compare and contrast here so you can see. So again, this can feel a little bit more claustrophobic because it's a smaller space, whereas you've got more card space for the image to occupy in the Chicoli Oracle. Okay. But you can you get a feel just from these two images of the artwork. It's going to be very uh, lowbrow pop, surrealism, um, and it's artwork that's going to put you in the space of the girl. In my in the way I experience these decks, when I'm interacting with these images, I'm typically the girl. And how am I interacting with my environment? And that's cluing me into the shadow work that I'm doing at any given point in time and what the lesson is. So when you're working with both of these decks, you're looking for what makes you a little bit uncomfortable or a lot uncomfortable, what's confronting for you, and what comes up for you as you look at the imagery. So I just want to encourage you to, this isn't a deck you want to use and just walk right away from your spread or walk right away from your daily draw. You want to spend time with this imagery. In my opinion, you want to journal about it. This isn't like a... This isn't a Rider Waite Smith knockoff deck, either of these, obviously, but especially in the case of the tarot deck. So, so you don't really want to just. This isn't fast food. This is like a gourmet meal. You're gonna you're gonna spend time with it. You're gonna have all the courses. You're gonna have a different glass of wine for each course if you drink. Um, you know, it's it's a very unique experience unto itself, and you want to like fully give yourself over to the experience. So. That being said, I'll start with the imagery in the Chipotle Oracle. Just so if you're on the fence about purchasing, you have an idea. Now, here's something that neither of the decks are going to offer you. A lot of background information in the intro. The intro to both decks is short and sweet. It's letting you know that you're going to be, as Betty Davis says in All About Eve, fasten your seatbelts, you're in for a bumpy night. <laughs> um, it's that type of experience. It's kind of like, hey, this is going to be, I think in the Chicoli Oracle, they say like, it's like the best type of dark chocolate. It's both sweet and bitter, right? So they'll prepare you for that. And there's definitely card meanings that, like I said, are worth giving a read over. Um, but a lot of what you get out of this deck is what you put into it. And I'm one of those people that actually has my own personal journal for these decks. And I will reference that if I'm stuck on a meaning as opposed to necessarily the guidebook. Okay. So as you can see, there's a lot more space in the Chicoli imagery. Things don't feel as cluttered in the images. Um, I don't mean cluttered in a bad way because I, I actually love the Chicoli tarot, as you all know. 
or as most of you know. Um, but you've got a little more space. It's a little lighter. It's a little airier, the Chicoli Oracle, as opposed to the Chicoli Tarot. So that's in, some examples of the artwork in the Chicoli Oracle. Now I'm going to pull through the tarot for you, which I have to hold differently because the cardstock in these two decks is different. Um, I prefer this, the cardstock and the Chicoli Oracle. This is, uh, the tarot is the typical Scarabio cardstock. It's very slippery. It's like oddly stiff, but weak. <laughs> I don't know. Um, the Chicoli Tarot cardstock leaves a lot to be desired in my opinion. Love, I love that image. I know I already showed that to you, but... So, and of course, in the Chicoli Tarot, we have 78 images, uh, cards, excuse me. It, let me just double check Chicoli Oracle because I forgot to look at that really quick. I apologize for that, guys. How many cards? Oh, there's 32 cards in the Oracle deck. So 78 in the Tarot, 30, oh, this isn't working for me to hold it this way. I'm going to do this. Um, 32 in the Oracle deck. As you can see, this cardstock's a lot shinier. This cardstock's not matte, but um, it's closer to a matte cardstock experience. So this type of, both of these decks, but specifically Chicoli Tarot is really gonna encourage you to sit with it to journal about it and to like go into almost like every aspect of the imagery and what comes up for you as you're looking at it, okay? I'm gonna show you a few more images from the tarot deck and then I feel like you'll have seen enough to give you an idea in case you don't have this one. I'll do one more here we get oh wait I do want to show you so there's ten of Pentacles I do love this uh, wheel of fortune image so that being said let's talk about how they feel for me the Chicoli Oracle has less of a defined voice for me it again it's much more I guess watery in nature, I would say, than the Chicoli Tarot. Now, I think they're both primarily water elemental decks um, because we are working in the dream time, we're working in the realm of emotion, we're working around shadow work and triggers and what's unseen, what's underneath the surface, all of that marries well to the water element. Um, Chicoli Oracle is more like air and water. Chicoli Tarot for me is more like fire and water. So the Chicoli Oracle is a little bit more nebulous, a little bit more, um, I don't wanna use that word. What word do I wanna use? It can feel a little bit more normal, whatever that means, than the Chicoli Tarot. The Chicoli Tarot is just intense, it's, it's not for everyone. It's like, to reference the gin behind me, a really good gin and tonic. Gin's an acquired taste, right? You either like, and then once you're, you're either like a gin person or you're not, right? <laughs> um, and if you're not a gin person, you're definitely not a gin person. I think the Chicoli Tarot is much more polarizing. That's the word I want. The Chicoli Tarot is much more polarizing. Um, the Chicoli Oracle is more user-friendly. So if you are on the fence and you want to go more user-friendly, you want more of something that's going to, you're going to be able to work with on the daily, where you're really going to get your money for your investment in a very quantifiable daily activity way, I would say move in the Chicoli Oracle direction. If you want a deck that is a very, very specific tool, but is irreplaceable as that tool, then you want the Chicoli Tarot. So if you're a deck collector, you want the Chicoli Tarot because you you understand that like this, this is like the very specific tool for brain surgery here and it costs thousands of dollars and like, yes, you only use it for that very specific aspect of surgery, but it's like necessary for that, right? That's the Chicoli Tarot. The Chicoli Oracle is more like maybe a tool that you would use in multiple 
things, but isn't as specific to that one area at which the Chicoli Tarot excels. Over my years and years and years now of working with the Chicoli Tarot, um, I would say I don't work with the Chicoli Tarot all the time, but when I do, I have profound experience with it. So if you are on the fence, if it was me and I was having to decide, I would go with the Chicoli Tarot. That doesn't mean I don't enjoy the Chicoli Oracle and that I'm blessed enough to be able to have that in my collection and I, I adore the Chicoli Oracle. That being said, I don't have as deep of a relationship with it as the Chicoli Tarot. So if it's a situation of making a choice for me, Chicoli Tarot. Um, thankfully, I don't have to and I get to have both of them. But the Chicoli Oracle, I use honestly a little less often than the Chicoli Tarot. But I can see how I could very easily use it regularly as a clarifier if I had to make a choice between the two decks. Okay, so... There's just something about the Chicoli Tarot that is so freaking unique. Um, and it's like, if you get it, you get it, right? So it's very much that type of a feeling and an experience with her. The Chicoli Oracle is a little more user-friendly, a little softer around the edges, but is again, wonderful as a clarifier and dovetails nicely with the Chicoli Tarot for shadow work if you or another uh, shadow tarot deck of choice. Um, I know in my experience, Chicoli Oracle plays well with Tarot of Vampires um, and it plays well with the Night Sun Tarot. So if you are looking for another shadow deck option, um, tarot wise, that's not Chicoli Tarot. You, could cer you can certainly still use it with another shadow tarot deck for sure. Um, but of the two, if it came down to the bat to a battle and I had to choose, uh, Chicoli Tarot is my ride or die. In this situation, Chicoli Oracle is a beautiful option if you have that option for you they're they are different they're not the same i don't feel like it's a knockoff um when i first purchased the chicoli oracle i was on the fence with that of feeling like did they just throw out another deck because it was really popular at the time over the years working with it i don't feel that way i do think of the two though with chicoli oracle you have to really acquaint yourself with the guidebook meanings because just looking at this image isn't necessarily going to help you understand what it's saying as a clarifier, if that makes sense. So you do need to spend a little time with the guidebook, which isn't going to be a problem. It's a very short and sweet guidebook. It's not as if it, you're looking at Phantasmagoria here. Um, just being extremely honest with you. It's, it's not that kind of a situation. Um, but there are upright and reversal meanings for the Chicoli Oracle. So if you're someone who enjoys working with that, then Chicoli Oracle has that on its side as well. So these are my thoughts and opinions on the Chicoli Oracle and the Chicoli Tarot. Um, I hope you found this helpful if you're on the fence. And um, yeah, guys, let me know down below which, which one's your favorite of the two, which one you go to more often, which one you feel more called to work with. Um, I would love to hear that. So I, uh, oh, and side note, next compare and contrast video is Oracle of Emanations with Masalia of Souls Oracle. Um, one of you sent me a message via Insta, uh, I think it was yesterday, and I was like, oh my God, I, I want to make this video so bad. I have so many things to say about these two decks. So that's going to be the next in our compare and contrast series. If you guys have any other ideas of decks you'd like me to compare and contrast, feel free to let me know in the message box down below and I will add it to my list. Much love, many blessings, guys. See you in the next video. Bye.